If you're interested in connecting with nature and learning more about nature, there's no better place to come to than a pond. In just five minutes of being here, we've spotted dragonflies, damselflies, sticklebacks, and the humble tadpoles. So welcome to Weeby Kids in today's story. I'm gonna tell you about a tadpole that wanted to be a bird. A long time ago, in a pond quite similar to this one, there lived a tiny little tadpole. And this tadpole lived in the pond with many other aquatic creatures. There were fish and frogs and newts. You'd have dragonflies and damselflies and occasionally you'd get a swallow come swooping in in the spring. And most of the creatures that lived in the pond were quite content. They were happy with their place in the whole system of all the creatures. But this one little tadpole had something in its heart that it just couldn't identify. It just wasn't sure what it was, but it was a voice. Every day the tadpole would swim out and it would look up at the beautiful blue sky. And something inside it said, I need to fly. I want to be up there with the clouds and the wind. And he swam and he swam and he swam and then one day he was swimming along and he saw this beautiful bird fly across the pond with an orange breast and small beady black eyes. Ah, he said, I would love to be that bird. And he swam and swam and swam and that night the sun went down and the moon came up and a little hedgehog came foraging along the side of the pond and popped its head down and started to lap up the water. And the tadpole saw this as a great opportunity to go over and speak to the hedgehog. And he went over and he bumped the hedgehog on the nose. And he said, little hedgehog, I wanna be like a bird. Today I saw this beautiful bird with an orange breast and beady black eyes. I wanna be like that bird. And the hedgehog nodded his head and chuckled to himself a little bit. It said, tadpole, that bird is a robin. It's a beautiful bird and I know why you would want to be a bird like that. But you can't be a bird. You're going to be a frog. The tadpole said, a frog? A frog? With big eyes and those long legs? And the hedgehog said, yes, all tadpoles grow up to be frogs. This tadpole looked at the hedgehog and said, well, I'm not going to be a frog. I am going to be a bird and swam off. And that next day, the tadpole swam around the pond again and he bumped into some of his tadpole friends and he said to them, you know, I was talking to a hedgehog last night and hedgehog said that I was going to grow up to be a frog. How can he possibly know what I'm going to be? And all the other tadpoles said, yes, we're all going to be frogs. The tadpole said, well, not me. I'm going to be a bird. And he swam off and he thought to himself, what can I do to be a bird? What can I do? And that day he watched another bird fly across the pond. This bird was jet black with an orange beak and an orange ring in its eye. <sighs> he said, look how wonderful that bird is, is, how he flies through the sky. I want to be that bird. And that night he waited by the side of the pond again. And just like the night before, a hedgehog came along. And a tadpole swam up to the hedgehog and bumped him on the nose. He said, hey, hedgehog. Okay, I don't want to be a robin anymore. I understand that I can't be a robin, but I saw this other bird today. Its feathers were jet black. Its beak was bright orange and it had orange rings in its eyes. I want to be that bird. Ah, the hedgehog said, well, that bird is the black bird. 
Yes, 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 said the tadpole. I want to be a blackbird. Look, look at me. Look, I'm black too. I can be a blackbird. And the hedgehog shook his head and said, Head tadpoles, I am very sorry, but you can't be a blackbird either. You're going to grow up to be a frog. No, I am not, said the tadpole. I do not want to be a frog. I know that if I practice at being a bird and I try my hardest and I work hard, I can be whatever I want. And the hedgehog shook his head. He said, tadpole, you are perfect how you are. Accept that you will be a frog. No, 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 said the tadpole and it swam off. And the next day he swam around the pond and he kept swimming to the surface and trying to jump and he tried and tried and tried to do everything he could to practice being a bird. And as he was trying, he noticed another bird come flying over. This one had black feathers as well. It had a longer beak and black eyes and it had a white breast but it also had a long tail, just like him. I said, that is the bird that I want to be, for it is the same colour as me, it has the same tail as me. I will be that bird. And he swam around, and as he swam around that day, he started to feel something just above his tail. Something was growing. <gasps> he said, I am growing my wings. It won't be long before I can fly and I can see the world from the sky and feel the wind in my feathers. Soon I will be a bird. And he swam off. And that night again he waited by the edge of the pond for Hedgehog. And Hedgehog came along and Tadpole swam up and boop, hit Hedgehog on the nose and said, Hedgehog, Hedgehog. Today I saw the most wonderful bird. He has black feathers just like me. A white breast, a big beak and black eyes, but this one had a big tail. Ah, said the hedgehog. Yes, that bird is the magpie. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the bird that I'm gonna grow up to be. And I know I'm gonna grow up to be a bird because look. And the tadpole turned round and said, I started to grow my wings. Ah, said the hedgehog. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you can't be a bird. You can't be the robin or the blackbird or the magpie. You're going to grow up to be a frog. No, I am not, said the tadpole. I am going to try my hardest and be whatever I want to be. I am going to be a bird. And in anger, he swam away and disappeared into the pond. And the hedgehog turned and walked off and shook his prickly head. And the next day came, and again, the tadpole tried harder and harder, swimming and jumping and swimming and jumping, trying to make its wings work. And from up in a sycamore tree nearby, the magpie was watching as this tadpole leapt from the water, making splash after splash, bringing attention to himself. And when he got close to the edge, the magpie swooped down and peered above the tadpole. And the tadpole swum to the surface and stuck his head out and said, Magpie, I am so glad you've come. You see, I just want to be like you. I want to see the, the world from the sky. I want to feel the the wind in my feathers. Tell me how I can be a magpie like you. And the magpie said, are you sure you want to be a magpie? Yes, 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 said the tadpole. I am sure, I am sure I can be whatever I want as long as I work hard. I will do whatever is needed. The magpie said, are you sure? Yes, said the tadpole. And in that moment, the magpie popped its head into the water and gobbled the tadpole up. The tadpole went into the mouth of the, of the magpie and it was totally pitch black. The magpie spun around and flew up into the air. 
And the magpie could hear inside a crying sound. Oh, oh, it's dark, said the tadpole. What is the matter, said the magpie. You wanted to be a bird. Now you can be a bird like me. But it is dark, it is dark. I can't see anything, I can't feel the wind. Patience, said the magpie. And the magpie flew and flew and flew. And as the magpie was flying around, the tadpoles began to see light. <gasps> wow. And then the tadpole began to feel the wind in his feathers. <gasps> and there, through the magpie's eyes, the tadpole saw the beauty of the world from the sky. And through the magpie's feathers, the tadpole felt the wind. Ah, there you, there you go, said the magpie. For now, all the energy of the tadpole is within me. And from my body, I will help you find your dream. And together, the tadpole and the magpie flew off into the sky. Hope you like that story. It's a story about transformation, how we can move from one thing into another. And the whole web of life has this way of transforming one plant to something else, a species into another. But the one thing which remains consistent is the flow of energy. So if you see a worm being eaten by a blackbird or a tadpole being gobbled up by a magpie, just know that that is another way for that worm or that tadpole to see and be in the world. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story and head out, find a pond of your own, look for tadpoles. See you again next time. Bye.